All right, it's Mark back to help you understand English grammar. And we're going to go through five practice sentences for chapter four. What we're going to do is diagram them, uh, identify them by sentence pattern, and then do the verb expansion formula. Okay, um, now we're just identifying stuff. If you're ever fuzzy on any of these sentences, what's a pattern eight? What's the difference between an eight and a seven? Go in your notebook and compose them yourself. Try to make your own pattern seven, pattern eight, pattern four, five sentences. Take a picture, post it, and we'll take a look at it for you, okay? Now, let's look at the first one. As always, the diagram's gonna help us figure it out. What's the subject, dude? The nephew. Okay. And what is he doing, or what's the... All right, that's it. Has been coming. That whole thing is your verb. And what's the rest of it? There's one prepositional phrase. There's another prepositional phrase. Are they talking about the nephew? Or are they giving you time and place? That's going to be adverbial, right? To dinner. And when? Nights, right? Good. What will we do next? Well, uh, let's try and do the verb expansion formula. We start at the beginning, and remember, tense, is there a modal, is there a have plus en, is there a b plus ing, and what's the main verb? What's the tense, past or present? It's present. Is there a modal? Okay, is there a have plus en? Yes. Okay. Is there a b plus ing? Yep. Yep. And what's your main verb? Your main verb is, is coming. Or just come, right? So there's our verb expansion formula for this string of verbs here. Present plus, there's no modal, present plus have plus en plus b plus ing plus come. And let's see, uh, what kind of word is that? Is that my favorite word of all time? Yes. And it's present, right? Mm -hmm. And is there something inging here? Is there progress being made? Yes. So the verb form is what? Present perfect. Progressive. That's our verb form. Uh, and what's our pattern number, dude? Um, How many noun phrases do you have? One. So that makes it what? Pattern six. All right, that's it, pattern six. Now he isn't doing something to something, right? Or isn't becoming something. Let's move on. <clears throat> Same thing. Start like this. What's your subject? The whole family. Okay, family. Can you see that pen? Is that clear enough? Yep. Okay. And what's the family up to? Eating. All right, now what's our whole verb that would go there? No, 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 that's not part of the verb. Now, is eating, that one word, is that your entire verb? No, will be. Okay, good. Will be eating. That, that, uh, that one doesn't work too well either. Okay. Is there some info about what they're going to eat? So that's your direct object, right? Uh -huh. What kind of vegetables? Fresh. The whole family will be eating fresh, fresh vegetables. Now, what's this thing? A prepositional phrase. Is it telling us what, which family we're talking about? No. Is it telling us what kind of vegetables we're talking about? No. Is it giving us time and place? Yes. So that makes it what? A prepositional phrase. It's a, pre it's a prepositional phrase, but if it's giving us time and place, what kind of prepositional phrase is it? It's an adverbial prepositional phrase. From, what is it? Now on.
Okay, uh, let's go up to our verb. And we're going to do the verb expansion formula for our whole verb here. Is it past or present? It is. Present. It can only be past or present. I know it says will, and it may, we, we know this is happening in the future. All our future um, sentiments are expressed with modal auxiliaries, and this is the present form of will. We're just going to have to live with that, okay? Uh, present, is there modal? Yep, will is your modal auxiliary. Is there have plus en? No, is there b plus ing? And what's our main verb? Eat it. Eat. Okay, and so this would be the verb form, present. If there's an ing, it's present progressive, right? Mm -hmm. That's our verb form. Okay, let's move on. Start here. Subject. The Doctor is doing something, what's going on? Okay, and look back here, see? You got, Kenny got a little bit thrown off because we have an adverbial stuck in between our auxiliary have and our considered. So the verb is has considered. When has he considered it, buddy? So that's adverbial. And he must have considered something, right? Mm -hmm. What is he considering? Nutrition, right? Yeah. And is there a word up there that's equal to nutrition? Good health. Uh, well, good health, you got fooled, because look what's in the middle here. It's a preposition, right? So your eyes are drawn to good health, but wait a minute, if we go back, there's a prepositional phrase that means good health is doing something different. Nutrition is a key. And what kind of key is it? The key to the health. All right. That's your pattern 10. You have uh, noun phrase one, noun phrase two, noun phrase two repeated, object complement, pattern 10. Now let's do the verb expansion formula. What's our verb again? The verb is has. Has. All right, past or present? Is there a modal? No. Is there a have plus en? No. Really? Yeah. So this is our have and we have the en ending of consider. And then what's our main verb? Is has Right, has is being the auxiliary verb. We have a have plus en, there's no b plus ing, and we considered. Um, what's the verb form of this one? What's my favorite word again? Has. Why? Because it's perfect. Okay, and that's our verb form. All right, fantastic. Let's move on. Let me try not to get my mic cable all messed up here. And subject. Some manufacturers, what are they doing, buddy? They are using oil. Did you see Kenny pause there? Why do you think he paused? Well, they were using, right? And because, once again, we have an adverbial stuck in between the auxiliary and the main verb, it's a little bit confusing. That's where that pause came from. So, they were using, right? When were they using it, buddy? Already, right, time and place. Already is, has to do with when something's going on, right? Time and place. Now, the, what were they using? Good, that's our direct object. And what pattern are you left with? Because there's only two noun phrases, right? Good. Um, now, let's do the verb expansion formula. Is this past or present? This is 
passed. Good. Is there no modal auxiliary? There's no have plus en, but what do we have? B plus ing. So, um, of course, it says were, but the past, past B plus ing is word, were. And then, uh, what's your main verb? Use. Uh, there's no, is uh, my favorite word up here? No. It's not one of the perfect tenses, but is there some progress happening? Yes. So this is past. Past progressive is your verb form. And one last one to go. Remember, if you're at home doing this, um, don't just be satisfied with identifying these things. Try to start writing your sentences on your own that have these different verb forms in them. Uh, it will stick a lot better. There's a difference between people who understand French and people who actually can call up the words in their head and speak it. That's the level you want to get to with, the, with your grammar here. Now, um, as always, just start with this. The diagram is the tool that's going to help you figure it out. It's not an extra task to do. Subject, buddy. Okay. Which ones? The old ones. What'd they do? Now, listen to how he read that, right? Did they give consumers? You kind of wanted to think that when you first read it, right? Because that's the word that came right after you gave. What, was, what, what in fact, did they give? All right, so that's your direct object, right? Little. And very is, is uh, called a qualifier. It's modifying little to give you a sense of how, how little it is. That's how you diagram your qualifier there. Very little information. And of course, we're left with um, a prepositional phrase. Let's ask ourselves. About fat content, is that telling us which labels? No. Is it telling us about the giving? No. Is it telling us what kind of information? Yeah. yeah. Information what? About the labels, right? Mm -hmm. About, I'm sorry, about the fat content, right. Now, that leaves us back with one more noun phrase. What's that, buddy? What did we leave out? Uh, consumers, yeah. And if they're not the direct object, you remember what they are? Okay, so we have a noun phrase one, noun phrase two, noun phrase three, so it must be pattern. Noun phrase one, noun phrase two, noun phrase three, yeah, okay. Good. Now, this is going to be really super hard. Let's see if we can do the verb expansion formula for this one. Is this past or present? It is... Gave? Past. All right. Now, is there a modal auxiliary? Mm. No. Is there a have plus en? No. Is there a b plus ing? No. no. So what's your main verb? It's in All right. Pass plus give is, that's it. That's your entire verb expansion formula. You happen to simply have, wow, if that's all you have, do you remember what it's called? Being so simple. What's the verb form? It's so... That's it, okay? And we've been looking at those in chapter three. Um, now, again, we didn't go to patterns 11 to 20. There are no patterns 11 to 20. Um, we're just expanding what goes on in the verb here. And if this is all fuzzy, start to try to write your own sentences with these different verb forms. Try to take, uh, try to diagram them yourself, take a little picture and post it and we'll all talk about it. All right, but the more sweat work you're doing with the diagrams, the clearer this is going to all s seem to you when you look at a sentence. And I guess we'll see you in chapter five.